Once, the United States was filled with beavers. Up to 250 million beaver ponds once puddled the continent. That's enough water to submerge Washington, Oregon, and California. But by the beginning of the 20th century, after decades of overtrapping by fur traders, just 100,000 beavers survived. The slaughter transformed North America's waterways. Beaver activity, building dams and forming ponds and wetlands, slows the flow of water, captures sediment, and reduces erosion. After beavers and their speed bumps disappeared, thousands of streams straightened and deepened into gullies. Many streams stopped spilling onto their floodplains, preventing them from recharging water tables. Some streams dried up altogether. Now, researchers are attempting to re-beaver these rundown valleys with beaver dam analogs, or BDAs. A row of peeled logs form its frame. A lattice of woven willow sticks comprise its body. BDAs provide powerful recruitment tools, starter kits that offer similar services as natural beaver dams, while also helping the paddle-tailed engineers settle where they're most needed. Between 2009 and 2012, Researchers installed 121 beaver dam analogs along Bridge Creek, a 45-kilometer-long stream within Oregon's Columbia River Basin. The goal was to convert a drastically simplified stream into a complex one. Sure enough, wherever they put structures, beavers came and set up shop. By 2013, beavers had built 115 new dams and fortified nearly 60 BDAs. And with the beavers came results. As the stream bed rose, water coursed once more onto the floodplain, tripling the creek's submerged area and increasing side channels by over 1,200%. In Wyoming, BDAs are creating wet meadows for sage grouse. In Utah, they're sub-irrigating cattle pastures. In Oregon, they're rebuilding eroded salmon streams. For all that momentum, however, beaver dam analogs continue to hit snags. Many landowners, as well as some agencies, still consider beavers tree-felling, field-flooding, ditch-clogging nuisances and look askance on any effort that invites their colonization. Last year alone, the U.S. Department of Agriculture trapped more than 23,000 beavers. But the idea is slowly taking hold. Ranchers in California's Scott Valley watershed are warming up to beavers and their human imitators, persuaded by water tables that have risen by as much as three feet and reduced irrigation costs. Happily, beavers have returned to countless North American waterways to lend a helping hand, or paw, 